detail than hut and hand salute. We're going to begin this morning by first counting our blessings. Sometimes we forget to appreciate the good things God has bestowed, and we let our difficulties consume us. As we take time to honor our veterans today, and we focus on the sacrifices they made on our behalf, let us all find peace and gratification in our own lives. We ask that God to help us pay homage to those veterans who seek only acceptance and let this day be a respite for all. Amen. In Flanders Fields, the poppies glow. Between the crosses, row on row. That mark our place within the sky, larks still bravely singing fly. Scarce herds in the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunsets glow. We loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from falling hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with those who die. We shall not sleep as poppies grow in Flanders fields. Thank you. As Mr. Whalen mentioned, I recently completed the work portion of my Eagle Scout project. I learned there was a need that would not only benefit our veterans, but also our community. I wanted to clean the Veterans Memorial, which is located behind me, to my left and beautify the area surrounding the town common so that people can more easily read and remember those who served in the wars which for which me commemorates the memorial the far left panel on the memorial remembers those who served in the conflicts in Afghanistan Lebanon Panama Kosovo and Haiti the large middle panel remembers those who served in Vietnam, World War II, and the Korean conflict. The right panel remembers those who served in the Persian Gulf, Grenada, Bosnia, Somalia, and Iraq. I hope you can enjoy a moment today or on your next walk and remember those who served in these wars. You know, last month when Mike asked me to speak today, I was truly humbled. I was truly honored. But I asked myself, why me? I never served in the military. But I knew one thing, and that is I knew I would be here today. As I started thinking about what I might say today, the thing that kept coming to mind was thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your dedication. And thank you for your commitment to our great nation. Since I was a small child, I've always been impressed that someone was willing to leave their home, leave their community, their friends, their family, in order to serve our great nation. The courage that it takes is enormous. Yesterday, I was attending a virtual summit, and Robert O'Neill, who retired from SEAL Team 6 and is professed to have killed Osama bin Laden, was speaking. He said something and some even, and many even, the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, today serves as a reminder to be thankful. And we need this occasion because it is only natural during our busy lives to be more focused on our daily routines than the world we live in. As the existence of our good fortune is not often questioned or contemplated. More specifically, today is a reminder of our, of our obligation to veterans, our obligation to fulfill promises made by our forefathers, promises to honor and take care of our veterans, and if needed, their surviving families. For so many generations, military veterans have been an important part of the Hopkinton community, whether by design or circumstance, they have served and contributed not only as outspoken leaders, but also as quiet, compassionate, 
hardworking men and women passing on their traditional American values.